What's going on YouTube? Um, in this gameplay, I'm going to be taking you guys into a deep look of my first two ultimate wildcard games. I did not have a top eight buy, so um, you know my first two games were you know kind of sweet, I guess you could say. That. Therefore, I'm putting them in the same video. Uh, but if you've played Xbox, you know who this guy is. He's actually a demon on the defensive side of the ball, and you're going to see here shortly. He is one of the very few guys that I know uh, user rushes off the D-line. He slaps on like a double or nothing or edge threat. And I'm sure I'll show his abilities right here. Let's see what he has. Um, but uh, maybe I don't. But like, look at him. He's already on the D-line. For this game, uh, soul, this whole game, uh, I made sure to put on identifier and edge protectors. Maybe at least, I think I have at least one edge protector. But um, this dude is, you know, he's pretty great, man. Uh, we end up obviously winning this game by a hefty margin. He was the lower seed. It just comes to the fact that, you know, like, he does have something glitchy, but he needs to, like, work on that. Because I've played this guy probably, like, two months back, and he's still running the same thing. Um, you know, if, maybe if he had, like, an extra blitz, because, look, I'm double-teaming him every time. And, you know, I'm able to throw a flat route or something like that. He runs, like, over G match. But, like I said, I'm able to double-team him. If he maybe, like, you know, works on his adjustments, finds a blitz out of that, um, you know, sends an extra person, comes in free then this defense could be very nice. But, you know, at the end of the day, even if users are really bad um, in this specific Madden, you still have to be able to use or something, whether it be across the middle. And, you know, now cards are coming out like Taylor Mays, Calvin Johnson. Um, you know, a bunch of great cards are coming out um, for the user spot that make it, you know, easier to user. It's right here once more. He's going to user rush. And no matter, we're going to throw this ball. Unfortunately, it goes out of bounds. But, you know, you see how easy it was for me to just hit a double team rollout because I know which guy he's on. That's why if you play like a user rusher like that, um, that's why identifier is so crucial. It's right here. Double team once more. And um, he comes in free. Like, I'm not going to lie. The user rush is pretty OP. He came in free right there, but I was able to make an easy read. It's right here. We go to our new favorite form and look at that, man. Crazy user rush. We're able to get it, get the ball out. But, um. This is one of my new favorite forms, a gun tight Y off, I want to say it is called, or gun tight Y, something like that. It's in Bengals, it's in Panthers, it's in a bunch of playbooks, it's in Dallas. Um, it's a really good formation to audible to and even just run in general. Um, so, you know, if, the more gameplays you're going to watch from here on out, I will be audible to that. It's kind of like my bunch tight end. It's not like the craziest, but it is very effective in my opinion. It's right here, guys. Easy wheel route out of the gun tight Y off to Bo Jackson. So right here, guys, we are in 3-3-5 wide. Uh, it's been kind of crazy the way defenses have gone this uh, whole year. But um, beginning of the year was in wide, but it wasn't even that good. You're pr primarily running coverage out of wide in the beginning of the year because of delay fades. Delay fades absolutely killed wide. Um, second tournament comes around, a 2-4-5 odd is out. People love a good blitz threat. They start running that. It's right here. This dude is a demon. He runs a screen and runs all the way back with Cunningham and throws it to his guy. And guess what? He has nasty streaks on. It's going to happen again here in a second. But um, like I was saying, second tournament, Odd and Dollar were the main defenses with the speed burst. It's right here. He's going to run this thing again. Gets the pass off. Boom, nasty streak. Boom, nasty streak. This dude was a demon, man. And I was low-key shook because, like, it was easy to score on him. But still, like, if he's doing stuff like this, you never know what could happen you know, one fluky interception or whatever it may be, and boom, you're out of it. And right here, you know, Montez Sweat is such a god. If you don't have him, go put him at your DT spot. He will make plays in the pass and run game. But, you know, back to the third tournament, they patch delay fades, and here we are. No more delay fade nonsense. 3 3 5 wide is all the way back, in my opinion. Um, whether you run 4-6, whether you just audible to it out of stock 3 3 5 wide, um, you know, I really do like this defense is right here. Boom, pressure by Ed Reed again. And this dude actually has gone no huddle this whole drive. There just needs to be a penalty, in my opinion. You know, I understand once or twice. Sure, that's cool. But every play, man, that's kind of insane if you ask me. This this drive so far has been, I, be, I believe, like six plays. And, you know, just no huddle every play. Whether it be a fumble, whether you just drop a pass, I feel like there should be a penalty for no huddling. It's right here, guys. He is going to throw absolute book. We get some nice loop pressure, the contain loop, and he panic. Panic makes a read, or panic throws a, you know, tight end drag. Guys, uh, I made it pretty much like I was clocking him out this time and moment. 
because he did he did get ball at half so I wanted to make sure I clocked him out and you know get on to my next opponent because honestly the way from what I've seen this dude is a demon but you know this was an easy dub for us it's right here guys third and goal check out this pit stop Kyle Pitts um, dive into the end zone uh, if you guys want some free game man I you know I always got you fullback dive um, don't hold RT don't hit hold the turbo button and just hold square and you will get a nice little dive like that into the end zone it's not 100% of the time but you know it is really effective it's right there you saw it, it helped me score it's right here guys left side pressure Marcus May three through five wide is humming looking good once more no huddle by the opponent and you know this game is coming to a close very shortly it's right here he sends out his guy uh, makes a good read that's one thing about wide when you do send the blitz the flats can be open it's right here man we're making nice adjustments sending five again and look at cam chancellor i mean not the best read in the world but man oh man it's gonna it's gonna be uh kind of sad not using cam chancellor as you see right there we absolutely hit stick the quarterback with cam chancellor might have to run that back right here boom randall cunningham eats that hit stick we're gonna go on to round number two versus hefty who so this guy right here was definitely way better than my first opponent. He is going to be running trips tight end. Um, Roger Craig at the running back spot. You know, when you play with someone with Roger Craig, you're in for a long game to say the least. But um, I was mixing in a little bit of forms. One thing I got to work on is my trips tight end defense. If someone's got some, hit me up because, uh, yeah, I don't have any. It's right here. We're going to do a little bit of send to. It's an easy read right there. He, may, he throws it very late, but, you know, still ends up getting six yards out of that. And look at that. Stafford at the helm. That's something we don't see too often. Uh, I believe he does get conductor and gunslinger. Um, if they didn't, there's actually like been an overhaul of QBs that's just came out as of late. It was just Josh Allen for a second, for a minute. And then they dropped, like, you know, Cunningham. They dropped Peyton Manning. They dropped Boomer Siason. They dropped a bunch of quarterbacks like super fast and i'm sure there's gonna be a one to two more coming out it's right here fourth down and five early uh, i want to send the blitz right here uh, get off the field my adjustments are just a little you know they're not that great i'm so worried about this tight end post play that there's just no post coming it's the same crossing route in route combo that he's ran twice in a row i should have picked up on that tendency man but i was expecting the tight end post one thing i guess i should check is if he had tight end apprentice and definitely caught me lacking right here uh because like I'm so used to playing trips tight end with Hot Rod Master that he doesn't even have it. I should 100% check what abilities he had on. It's right here. He's going to start running base. Puller Elite right there. You saw, I think, Lane Johnson with it lighting up at the pulling guard spot. And yeah, man, I'm kind of upset. Like, I didn't check it because, like, I know before I'd be just like that on it. Um, whether it be, you know, just the knowledge in the game, uh, see what abilities he had on, all that type of stuff is right here. He's going to try to go deep, um, but there's just nothing there. We have a good user, and that's why you don't use Stafford, man. That was an easy read. Not an easy read. That was an easy throw. You know, it was a broken play. Um, that's one thing you don't want to – like, I, when you run man in line trips or anything – or man in line defense or trips, you have to worry about um, the running back so much, man. And then in a game where the user can't really, like, fly around and guard two things at once, it could be tough. So, you know, I got to figure out what I want to do versus trips tight end. But so far, you know, he's had a nice little drive, you know, a couple third downs, one fourth down. But uh, so far, two easy conversions. He is actually going to run the tight end crossing route. Uh, excuse me, post finally. I thought I played good D, uh, but my, you know, my, my zones match. I ran a little bit of cover six right there, kind of decent versus trips. And there's just no, you know, sheds, open, wide open play right there. I actually did get a shed at the last second, but it is what it is. So, you know, so far to say the least, I was a little worried. Um... You know, I'm not too comfortable versus trips. And newsflash, we got more trips gameplay on the way in this tournament. It's right here. Roger Craig base house shot. Just didn't shoot the gap. Couldn't shoot the gap. Easy touchdown. So right here, guys, you see we're on a third and four early. Look at the distorted hot routes, man. Um, the squigglies, they like to call them. It's right here. We're going to hit Randall Cunningham on the rollout. And he low-key kept up with Luke Keekley, man, on that crossing route. You see that's never... Uh, you know something you could get back to but I, I want to say since he's not running press coverage and like since his linebackers already back see right there he was able to get there and this game you're gonna see me trying to tote the ball a lot 
just to play that clock a little bit. Um, it's not like you know me worrying about his defense too much. I played a lot of it, a, a lot of odd, and the way he's running it, it's kind of more of a passive odd. You know, he just wants to send four and run match rather than some people love to run like that send five, send six look with a cover two. Um, that look is you know definitely a little more irritating to play because you know the disengages and odd are kind of crazy. But right here we just double team. And, you know, we had an easy read of the tight end, but it is what it is. He swats it down. Z spot with a streak and an out route and then a backside uh, in slash, you know, crosser, excuse me, drag. And honestly, I should have hit Z spot right there. That was the read. Um, sometimes when they run match, they put a cloud and, you know, that cloud absolutely plays a living hell out of the Z spot route, even if you have a streak. So, um, you know. Right there, I thought he might may have done it. I decided to make the easy, uh, harder read. Um, easier but harder read was the tight end. I wasn't going to get a first on that. It didn't look like it, but I got a very favorable journal. And that's something you guys should uh, you know, implement into your game, whether it be a flat, or out route, whatever it is, start journaling immediately or even spinning with Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts is a absolute dog. See me right here, audible to this tight wide off. Boom. You see right here, he actually plays on aggressive strip ball, man. So this guy's had his mindset for Madden set down in Pat. Um, he wants to get his fumble by any means, whether he even give you 15 yards. He doesn't care because he immediately, right after that play, he didn't switch it off. He immediately called his play. That's how I knew is right here. Bo Jackson, easy spin touchdowns, tie this game up. Guys, right here, this is a cover six look I was talking about versus trips. Right here, I'm going to man up Perry. Look at that. Nothing really open. I mean, he could have low-key thrown that because some of my routes bu uh, bumped into each other. But boom, coverage sack, third and 22 early. But right here, as you could tell, guys, I wasn't even running the mana line look of dollar in this game. Uh, more of just the mana line look of wide is right here. I man him up. Just can't have that happening. I should have set zone drops on. Big mistake by me. Um, honestly, this was like I should be, should be doing better um, – labbing and all that but this was like one of my first times playing trips and you know as you could tell like i was kind of experimenting some coverages and sets i played it a couple times uh, here after playing this form but i mean it still really doesn't matter i'm still struggling a little bit versus right here he's gonna throw this crosser late and i believe that is derwin james with the interception huge interception man uh very huge he threw it very late he could have thrown it with good timing nonetheless he still it was still 50 50 ball play and my guy came up with it and guys i pretty much clocked this whole scenario down this is the way you got to play madden uh to some people i like to just you know play it but you know when it comes down to it like winning and all that i, I like to put myself in the best position whether it is you know boring way to play um you know i don't enjoy this way because i definitely can make mistakes clocking rather than going for scores but like you know look at this man he's not going to get the ball back with enough time and I get ball at half so I mean it's just the best way to win in Madden as you guys are gonna see here Kyle Pitts is about to take flight and I was gonna get the clear the end zone but he ended up giving me a face mask again I told you he was still on it from earlier and see right there we end up scoring uh, after an uneventful end of the second or first half we get the ball first out of half PA tight wide off crosser play we wanted to score right there, but we end up getting hawked down. But it's not the worst thing because we are still clocking this game. And the look he gave us, man, he just couldn't stop the run, man. He tried shooting the gap. He has Luke Keekley there. I knew I was going to be able to cut back all game. And let me see how many yards and rushes I have with uh, Bo. If it shows and ends up not showing right there. Right here, guys, third and goal. We actually run the ball again. And he actually plays D. Um, and look at that. 15 rushes, 100 yards for me. I, like I said, I don't like playing this way, but uh, if, I, if I'm if i giving this scenario to clock, I'm definitely going to. We're going to end up kicking three right here. It's the smartest way to win. Uh, highest chances of, you know, winning is, you know, going up two possessions in the second half and having the ball back. So we're going to kick three, try to play a little D and, you know, get the dub. This is where I started, you know, low-key, you know, playing a little more aggressive, trying to learn the way of dollar is right here. Easy pressure versus trips. He had a left side flat wide open, um, but Ed Reed came in screaming. Same thing again. We send the heat, and he makes a nice little easy in route read. That backside in route is as pesky as it's ever been. And right here, same thing. Uh, more coverage. Make the tackle inbounds. 
He ends up getting that fourth down conversion, but right here, cover six, man up, the slant. Nothing was open. Perry Nickerson, pick artist, 99 speed. We're going to hit the Baja with this guy. Look at him run. He, I, my, this is one of my favorite players in this year's Madden. I know he's a little short, but he's still a dog. And just in general, he's been one of my favorite players in Madden. Guys, in our round three game uh, that I'll be making a video on next gameplay, uh, next video, see right here, we're down 20 to 10 in the third quarter. Stay tuned for the next game to see what happens in this gameplay. T-Money is a very good opponent. You're not going to want to miss this game. Crazy game. Comes down to the wire. Stay tuned for that, guys. Thank mm -hmm. you.